Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to not really have a request by people but on a group I mod for I was talking about all the mods that I use for this lovely game right here which I actually do not have installed on this computer. I have it installed in my laptop which I just got this computer so I have been meaning to get everything for this. So why not record it and show everyone how easy it is, easy to download mods for The Sims 4. Even I can do it and I am not the sharpest tool in the shed. So here we go. First, what you're gonna wanna do if you want any not safe for work mods, you wanna come to Google, search up Wicked Whims and click on this first one here. Make sure it says wickedwhimsmod.com. This you will be prompted 18 content ahead. If you are not 18, I'm sorry, back away. But just go ahead and press enter there. So what I will recommend you do is read the common mistakes. You really wanna read this. You wanna make sure that you don't do anything wrong, right? You don't wanna do anything that could potentially break your game. But really, Wicked Whims, it's the easiest thing. Same with like any mods for The Sims. They're super easy. So what I'm gonna do, because I already know how to do this, I don't need to read this installation manual. If you want to, go ahead and click on this, read it all, get familiar with it. If, you're, if you have the Windows, you know, if you have Linux or Macs, you wanna go through here. I have Windows. I don't have these two, so you might want to go through this. One thing I do want to say is you want to have a 7-zip because there will be a lot of folders, that potentially a lot of folders, that you will have to unzip. And I will show you that when we get to it. So I'm just going to go back to the downloader. Okay. And you always want to come here and make sure that you have the most recent update. And keep in mind, when Wicked Whims updates, you're going to want to update like the packs that you get from here. These are pose packs. That, well, not necessarily pose packs, but um, animation packs, let's just say. So here, um, I'm, I'm going to do the Itchio one because I'm pretty sure that is what... I got before so I'm just gonna click on that it'll take you to a new page I'm just gonna click remember that yes I am 18 okay so here it's just very easy all, all you're really gonna do is click the download button here so this will have everything it's mod it offers animated sex nudity interactions exhibitism interactions I mean, you can, you can be a prostitute if you want to. Uh, relationship enhancements and gameplay improvements. See, relationship enhancements and stuff like that. If your spouse catches you getting naughty with another spouse, he'll be really upset unless you have it in your settings or he might just join in. <laughs> um, there's new interactions, which I have not played with yet, I don't think. I'm not going to go through and really read all that. If you want to, you can pause and um, go down or go to the page and actually read it. But I am just going to come down and find this here and click download. So we're just going to wait for this to download and I'll show you exactly what this zip thing you'll need is thanks for downloading you can find more from the creator here thank you turbo driver i love you so as soon as this finishes downloading you want to come here do not open show it in folder okay once you see it in the folder here you want to right click on it go down to your 7-zip if you do not have this on this menu it means you do not have it downloaded so go back and search up the 7-zip and just download it in Okay, so one, if you do have 7-zip, you want to go to this list, come over, don't extract here, don't extract here. You want to extract two wicked whims to the file itself. What this will do is it'll make a new file, like it'll copy it, but it'll copy it like 
unzipped, I guess, if that makes any sense. So that looks like it just went nowhere, but it is at the top here. Okay, so what you want to do here is you want to either copy it or cut it. I'm going to cut it so that it's not in this. You want to go, you want to go to your documents. Okay, so go down into this little list, find your documents, where your electronic arts folder is. You want to go into this, click into here, and what's really great about The Sims is they have a mod folder for this. So you want to go into that right there and you want to paste and what that has done you do not want a folder inside of a folder um, first I'm gonna okay I'm gonna double check and make sure I don't actually have to take that out um, I'm gonna double check, double check on the manual mod installation. Open the downloaded modification archive file. It is very, very, very important that you do not put folders inside of folders when you are modding because what will happen is your computer will be trying to search for that mod, but if it's in like two folders deep, it's not going to be able to find it and you will have a uh, game breaking bugs. So what if that happens, just delete and reinstall. Um, but if you see here, it's very easy, just like what I had done. You open the folder, you find the mod, you drag and you drop. Okay. Editing Catherine here. I realized, um, I didn't do a step that I was supposed to. I said it was fine right here, but it actually really you should you should do what he's doing right here in this video i do correct myself near the end but if you're following along in time with me just look at this video here and watch what he does he is in the wicked whims folder and there's the wicked whims mob folder inside of that folder which right here i left in but really you want to take it out and put it into the main mod folder because you do not want this folder within this folder. You want to take this folder and put it in the main mod folder so that all that's left in this folder is these two things here. Okay, you should only have like at least just two things there. You don't want this folder in there. So if you're following in tune with me, please follow what he does right here. Okay, and back to the video. So it is very important that before you install mods, you at least turn the game on once so that it knows where it's going to, I believe. Um, once you have this installed, because that is installed, that is all it takes to install that. Um, Turbo Driver is in, and to check to make sure, just open the game. You don't even need to start your file you just need to open the game because a pop-up will come up and show you what mods are installed and i have no expansion loaded so this will probably be a really fast um, loading screen for the sims yeah see as soon as i turn it on this is what we want to see this means that is installed it installed correctly okay so i'm just going to sit because i have a lot more to show you. So now that we have Wicked Whims installed, I am going to go back to this download page and I am going to come over to the animation mods and I'm going to click a couple of these and get them into my file. So these really are just your preference, what you want. Um, I am definitely going to get body mods here. These will replace the body. Um, 
make a little more animated bodies, you know. Um, there's a lot that you might want to avoid because they're kind of weird, but they're just read through them. You'll find which ones you want. If you want um, the sensors to be back up, like the fuzzy pixelated covering your nudie vids, you can download this. It's great if you're streaming, but I don't really care. Um, there's pregnancy mods, intersex mods. Great. Love that. Okay. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to get the ones that I want. I'm just going to do that. So you, what you want to do, you want to click on one. It'll redirect you to a new page. Okay, so this is the, the maker of this mod. I'm going to blur some of these out because, yeah, I'll show you some of the, like, safer work. I'm, I'll blur some parts out here, but, you know, um, basically porn. <laughs> yeah. Um, warning. Very big warning. What I had said before, you do need Wicked Whims for any of these to actually work. So go in, read everything. Don't just do what I'm doing and just copy exactly. Pause the video, read all the instructions because I'm not going to be able to explain everything the way everyone will be able to grasp it. I can only explain it one way and everyone else, everyone needs different ways of explaining sometimes. So if you need to, read it yourself if that'll help more. What this AP animation is, it's the AP is an animated little peen, right? Make it look a little more realistic. NAP is, well, not animated. So we want the animated one. Download this file from up here. See, this here will give you a whole bunch to download. You can either download them all or you can download one. But I am going to avoid this one and avoid this one because it says NAP that's non-animated. I want animated. So I'm going to download those ones. Once those download, I will do the same thing that I did with the Wicked Whims here. If you see here, they are zipped because they have the little zipper here. So when they're zipped like that, you're going to want to unzip it. Okay. So the seven zip extract and it'll be at the very top. So this is why I wanted um, to cut so that it wasn't up here. Editing Catherine once again. What I mean by so that it wasn't up here, because I realize that's not very clear. I am referring to the other mods that I had already unzipped. So by cutting the unzipped folder and placing it into the mod folder, I don't still have all of it taking up this space where I have to look through what I have already implemented into the Sims mod folder and what still needs to be done. It's just organization. If you don't want to do it that way, you don't have to. That is just personal preference. All right, and back to the video again. If you see that, these are there. These are now outside of it. It's at the very, very top. So I'm going to cut that. And I am going to my documents, electronic arts, Sims 4, mods paste. Now, I don't usually check every single time, but because that took a little while to find, I need to make sure that's actually what I wanted. I'm pretty sure that's what I wanted there, and it wasn't one of my Skyrim mods. And it is there. See? Right in that list. Now, custom content and script mods. Script mods should go down here. Um... I thought Turbo Driver was a script mod, but let's just cut the bed. Okay, now if you have that first one unzipped and moved and put into the proper place, 
you are going to want to repeat that process with all of the ones that you have downloaded here. So if you chose to just go with the NAPs and you just had the two, then just do those two. But if you downloaded all three like I did, then you're going to want to repeat that process for every single one of those. Boom, baby. Now we have all of those ones right in there. I will show you again that they are in. Now, when it comes to custom content versus the actual like animation mods, I don't usually check every time I put it in when I have the custom content, which I will show you how to do that. It is pretty similar to installing mods as installing the custom content. Now that I have all of those ones, I do not need to keep this open. Um, I'm going to do that for all of these ones as well, but for the sake of keeping this video short, I will come back to this and install everything that I want from here myself. You guys can go through this, pick, choose what you want. It is very customizable. There is so much to do. Um, I suggest do read through everything because some of the things that they offer could be triggering. There are some that are very not my cup of tea. <laughs> so I'll just say it might not be your cup of tea either like the necro dog feet. I have no idea what that is, but it has dog in the name, so I'm staying far away from it. So I'm going to show you where I go to download all my custom content. Okay, so thesimsresource.com. You wanna click in this one. It is so easy, so easy to get this custom content. And it's like, you can get it for Sims 4, Sims 3, Sims 2, Sims 1. You can get all of this kind of customizable stuff. So what I'm going to do first is get some non-Maxis hair because I do not like the clay looking hair. I like like this. Like I don't like you that even like it's too clay. So I am going to first find one. There will be lots of advertisements on this website. I am, I apologize for that. You can pay to get no ads on the site if, if you really want to, but I don't mind watching a few ads just to mod the game. It's how they get their money. I like the Sims resource. It is safe. They're great. They, ooh, ooh, I love that. Look, like, look at all the color swatches, his hair comes in pink. It's beautiful. Okay, so once you have chosen a hair you like, see, right here, go away, Phillips. Um, you want to click into it, go down. It does have installation help, so if you want, you can click on that and read it. I don't need that. Do make sure to read it and make sure there is no um, mesh you need to download as well. They will say right here and in here if there is a mesh you need for the hair. And what the mesh is, is it'll basically make it so that the hair will fit on the head and won't look weird. It won't look like beta days of Red Dead Redemption. Remember how the hair was all messed up? Yeah, there won't be any of that. So once you choose something, you want to just come over and hit download. It'll redirect you. Take 10 seconds here. They'll show you a bunch of ads. Um, once the 10 seconds is done, it will automatically start downloading. Okay. So once that starts downloading you just want to wait for it to finish once it's finished here you do the same thing show in folder but if you take a look here how it is just a regular icon there is no zipper um, you can then just cut that you want to go to your documents electronic arts sims 4 mods and paste and once that's in there, here, 
I know I keep showing you, but I'll show you. It will be in. See? And toe S for hair. Okay, you can, if you don't want that to be popping up, there is an option at the bottom of that where you can not show it on Startup, but I suggest to keep it on because it is very handy to go through and make sure that everything is working properly. If it doesn't show up on the list, it is not installed properly. Okay, so I'll go back to that browse page because I have that hair installed. And let's find another one. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? So again, you're just going to wait 10 seconds. Okay, and once that is done downloading, you want to do the exact same thing. So you show in folder. I show in folder because it's the easiest way for me to just find it right away. I'm going to cut it. Like I said, you can copy it or cut it, but if you cut it, it helps keep your download folder a little more not all over the place. Go into your electronic arts, Sims 4, mods, and just paste it down there. Oh, look at that. Cute. Yeah, there's a lot of male ones too, which is great. Um, sometimes, like if you really like something someone has made, you can always look them up most of the time. See Nightcrawler Sims, you can click up. Nightcrawler Sims is a really good one. He has a lot of really great stuff. So I'm going to come over here and see more because I know there were, there were ones that he has that I like. Show all Sims 4 creation. Okay. So... This hair is rather short. I like longer hair. I know I had this one. I know I had this one. This one is a really cute one. It comes in a lot of colors. So let's go ahead and let's get this one. So what will happen in the game if you download something that you do not have the mesh for, um, it'll still show it in that list as if it worked. However, when you go into your game and you go into a create a sim, you will see um, when you put the hair on that you want to use that actually didn't, you don't have the proper mesh for, it'll make your sim look like they have like red and white checkered spots almost all over them. Like it, it'll show that it didn't work, that it doesn't work. And all that, all you'll have to do is just go find the mesh that you need, refine the one that you had downloaded and just install the mesh. You shouldn't have to uninstall the mod and, and install the mesh and then reinstall. You can just install the mesh and it should work. So this is here. I'm going to cut that, go into my documents, electronic arts, Sims 4, mods, and paste. Okay, that's done. So now that I showed you a couple of the hairs that I like, I am going to, um, there is some eyelashes that I use that aren't on the Sims resource. I just need to search it up. I think they were Kiko, no, Kijiko. Kijiko, these ones right here. These are the best eyelashes for your Sims. I love this woman. Look, even for kids. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. I like the 3D lashes here. Version 2. Do not re-upload. Do not include my creations in your uploads. So basically don't steal and say it's yours. So this one, I'm pretty sure it has a bunch of them in. So I will download that. Give it to me, baby. So eyelashes for teens, young adults, elders, for all genders. Lashes are an accessory category. Glasses. So if you have the eyelashes on, you can't wear glasses. 
um, 25 regular length styles and 20 long styles is an optional file. So in here, show in folder, see it's a zipped folder. So you want to right click, go to seven zip, go over, extract to Kiko eyelash version two. So it'll make another file. Always make sure you do that. Okay. And then you want to find where that went to. So that's right there. Okay. You want to cut documents, electronic arts, Sims 4 mods, and just paste that in there. I am going to go into here and make sure there is not another folder inside this folder because if there was, you would have to take them out and just put them in here. So for example, say this was a folder, you'd want to click into it, take everything that was in here and just put it directly into this one, just so it's all right in the same place. Make sure that it's good for all of them. See this one though, the Wicked Whims mod there, that one I believe, that one's okay. Yeah, see, do not put the Wicked Whims folder in another folder, put it directly into the mods folder. Gonna open this again because I'm pretty sure it was supposed to say it was in the skip mod. Yeah, see, it's still there. So it really is the easiest modding of any game. Base game compatible. Sometimes you will need the expansions for certain hairs and stuff because sometimes they will use textures from base game to make their CC. So for example, someone uses a hair from the dogs and cats expansion pack. Um, you will need that expansion for that mod to work. So make sure if it, they will state if you need it, like it, it'll say needs this to work, needs this to work. So make sure you always read everything. I can't stress that enough. It won't break your game, it'll just make it so the mod doesn't work and it'll show up as like an untextured mesh. Now I will show you, I'm still gonna go through and get a whole bunch more custom content, but I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea. And I will show you what some of these look like on here, and then I will show you some of the other mods that you can get, like the base mental drugs and the extreme violence. So go in here, make sure that everything here is in. So these are everything that I have downloaded. Whoa, fatal error. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I made a boo boo. One thing I forgot to tell you is after you have this in, it is not one too deep. What happened is I did not go over here and um, turn script mods on. Okay? You want to have these two things checked. Apply changes and I am going to restart the game. That's why it wasn't showing up in script mods because I had it disabled. There we go. There we go. See, now it is in the script mods. Now that will work. So, yes. Um, yeah, see? Wicked Whims is on there. There will be Wicked Whims options that you can go into and do all that, but I'm just going to shift click on her 
and go modify and cast. But first, hit Control Shift C and it'll bring up this bar here. What you're gonna wanna do is type in um, cast period full edit mode. And it won't pop up anything here that worked, but once you go into create a sim by shift clicking, modify and cast, it'll make it so that you can change everything as if you were just making the kitty and a voice. Her name, everything. So let's see if that hair worked. Okay, what you can even do here is there's even more you can go here and you can hit custom content and it'll pull up all your custom content that you just downloaded and if you see that work hmm. oh i did not mean to do that on her face i meant to spin her around <laughs> okay <laughs> look at that isn't that so cute although she's a blonde so that's just this keep her true what she is. Look at that, Tiana. You're so cute. Now let's check this one. Cute. Cute. Now this one. Yes. What I love between the packs that are the same, if you notice Nightcrawler here, put her on blue hair. If I click to here, it'll stay on the blue. The red it'll go to the red. Love that. So easy for when you want to switch hairs. The accessories, remember the Kiko lashes are under glasses. Custom content. You take away the formal and the feminine, so make sure everything comes up. But if you see here, look. Look. The lashes, lashes for days. Look at that, so freaking cute. And you can change the colors and the thicknesses. If you see here, there are different styles. So just on the top, no bottom lashes. I see you. You want green lashes? They're there. Or teal, green, blue, pink, like custom content. Am I right? Love it. Okay, and uh, there was the lipstick there too, right? So I'm gonna go down to the makeup. Hmm. Oh yeah, the eye eyeshadow too. See, look. So freaking cute. Love it. Right? I don't have any eyeliner installed, but I have some lipstick, right? Remember, right here? So cute. Cool. Those are cool. I like those. Neat. If you like killing your Sims, you want this. Sacrificialmods.com. Extreme violence. Oh god, okay, he's updated to every single murder and attack now has a chance of being dodged. You can turn that off. Um, each weapon has its own unique dodge animation, that's kind of cool. Multiple outcomes that work according to Sim's traits and relationship with the attacker. That's kind of cool. Um, there's an 80% chance that the murder attack will succeed by default, and if the attack sim has a higher fitness skill than the attacker, then they'll have a much higher chance of dodging the attack. Sims who escape the murder might run away, attack back, or murder back. Sims with a positive relationship with the attacker will tend to run away instead of attacking back, and sims with a high negative relationship with the attacker will tend to murder the attacker. Sims with a good trait will never murder the attacker. Cool. Self-defense system can be turned off from the mod option. I turn that off because I don't want Bella Goth getting away from me. I kill her every time. I hate her. 
I've hated her since the first Sims. She was an annoying little kid, then she's being just like a thoughty little thought stealing all my men all the time. Added five murderers from the Life Tragedies mod. Okay. There is a zombie apocalypse mod too. That is an extra mod you'd have to just download. Um, added an option to disable Grim Reaper. Nice. Okay, thing with this, the the Grim Reaper. If you kill a lot of Sims, he will get mad at you, and he will beat you up. I have been beaten up by by the Grim Reaper. It's just. It's funny. New murder spray with machine gun. Oh, shoot with shotgun. Slow mo machete slashes. Shwarma machete slices. What? Crack neck and crash head with booty. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Sims will now limp after getting beaten up, slap dragged, and taekwondo kicked. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's um, the thoughties and the hardwood uh, gangs when you put this up. But there's um, so much you can do other than just like the gangs. You can pay gangs to kill someone. You can impale with a sigh. You can swing with a bat, backstab. Yeah, you, you need to be 25% romantic. Death from above. You jump on them and then just slam your knife into their chest I think um oh <gasps> that is terrible I suggest turn this off really suggest turning that off unless you want sims just randomly killing each other Yes, there are cops. You can disable them, though. Kill Father Winter and skeletons. Those skeletons will turn to humans first. Okay. That is awful. That's something that could have stayed out, stayed out, but okay. Commit murder in new brutal ways, but be careful someone calling cops on you because you will get arrested. Cops who witness you commit a murder might now call the cops on you. No, Sims who witness you. Wow. Okay. Cops will show up to the scene shortly after and will arrest the murderer in these conditions. I always just kill the cops before they can get to me. Um, yeah. Okay, this could have been left out, um, but this, yeah. <laughs> Talk to someone about it. Okay, so I suggest you read through all this before you install the mod. Um, installing this mod will be the same as everything else that I showed you, but if you want, go here read through make sure your game's updated the thing with these mods is you want to make sure everything is always updated once wicked whims needs an update you need to make sure all of your other mods are updated to that because a lot of them are compatible like with all of the all of these if you have these and wicked whims updates you want to make sure all of these updated every single one you have okay so just make sure you read through the how to install this is exactly how I have been showing you okay so let's go to the downloads so these if you want just to pick and choose I think out of them you can but I, I want the actual sacrificial mod download so and now that that is there show in folder 
it is a zip folder so you want to go to your 7-zip extract two don't do these ones you want to extract two it is the easiest okay and that is just right there you want to cut you want to go to documents electronic arts sims 4 mods and paste that bad boy right in there i am just going to double check and make sure see look extras and props these are folders in folders right so you want to just take all that cut it out and put it in there this one because I don't want two folders deep right so let's just check and make sure that went on and it did you see that see all the extreme violence animations there the props all that let's show you how that mod works now I'm not going to save this so don't worry for my poor little sims here <laughs> they will be fine see it's right there there's non-violent interactions like steal money stock hack info frame sim ask to be partners in crime the gangs are all here so you can add them to these gangs enabling them and stuff non-deadly interactions you can <laughs> Watch. My god. Watch. Oh my god. Kill Jesus. Okay, and <laughs> we're here. Oh. That is hilarious, but I will also show you wicked. So, like I won't show show it. Oot, let's go for a spin out. Ah, Zerpa, Lord. Sterling? Sterling? No. Sterling? Get out. Get out. See? Wicked whims and stuff. Oh my god, Sterling! Sterling! Go here right now, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get out! Get out! <laughs> Don't watch that! Do not, I'm censoring it with the cursor. Yeah, cry. Be alone. They don't love you. She doesn't love you. She will never love you. You have a penis. She can't work around that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to save. Hello, editing Catherine once again. Um, I realize I was zoomed the whole video because I did not do my screen record capture properly. It was already zoomed and I didn't notice. So you didn't actually see the wicked whims, what was going on in the corner, but I'm pretty sure you can use your imagination and imagine what was going on if you really really want to see for yourself download wicked whims and play around with it yourself it's a lot of fun it does definitely make the sims feel a little bit more like real life whether you're actually using it um, just for a life simulator or if you're basically making it porn because i know a lot of you out there
are doing that. So anyway, now that that's said and done, I will get back to the end of this video. Trust me, it's almost over. Okay. Because that was just a little test. But as you can see, the extreme violence is working. The Wicked Whims is working. And the custom content that I put up is working. I don't know if there's anything else that there is to show you. So I believe that's all you really need to know for downloading mods on The Sims. Uh, here, if you want the sacrificial mods, go to sacrificialmods.com. If you want Wicked Whims, go to wickedwhimsmod.com. Make sure that you get all of the animations that you want. Um, the Sims resource is my favorite place to go to find all of the best custom content. And if you want those eyelashes that I showed you, um, they are the Kijiko lashes. So they will be right here at kajikocatfood.com. Okay, these are some of the best. I never have a sim without them now. So that is the Kijiko, the Kijiko, Kijiko eyelashes, simsresource.com, wickedwhimsmod.com, and sacrificialmods.com. Those are the three things that I use to mod my game. Um, and as you see, all those mods went up. I am going to end the video here, but I'm going to continue to add all of the mods and poses and animations that I want. Keep in mind, if you come across a pose pack on The Sims Resource or anywhere, if you have the Turbo Driver animations and any of those Wicked Whim animations, again, they will conflict. Most of the time, they will mess up your actual animations. Um, so pick and choose which one you want. If you prefer to just have the poses so that you can take cute pictures with your family and stuff for safe for work content, that's that. But if you want not safe for work content, keep in mind, poses will most likely interfere. The pose packs will most likely interfere with the other mods. So that being said, I really, really hope that that helped. If you have any other suggestions on a video you'd want to see, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can get that done for you. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, evening, or night, wherever you are, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye!